the Judicature Amendment Bill 2023. Honourable Members, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, through this bill, seeks to increase the number of justices of the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal, and uh, is going to move bring the bill for the first reading. But before he brings his bill, okay, actually after bringing his bill, we want to know why we are having piecemeal constitutional amendments. That's one. Two, when do we have a constitutional review commission in place? I now therefore invite the minister to table the bill for the first reading. Madam Speaker, honorable members of parliament, I beg to move that the bill entitled the Judicature Amendment Bill 2023 be read for the first time. Attached to the bill is a certificate of financial implications issued by the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development in respect of the bill in accordance with Section 76 of the Public Finance Management Act 2015. I beg to move. Thank you, Honorable Members. In furtherance to Rule 1291 of the Rules of Procedure, I refer the Judicature Amendment Bill 2023 to the Committee of Legal and Parliamentary Affairs. And with that, it only has two clauses. I will require the, the bill back in the House on Tuesday. It has only two clauses. So I want you to go work and ensure that we have it on Tuesday for the second reading. Next time. Hey, Honorable Minister. Madam Speaker, it's regrettable that the Constitutional Review Commission has not yet been constituted. At the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, in light of the financial constraints that we are facing, since we don't have all the money for the Constitutional Review Commission, we have decided to recommend to the President and the Cabinet that the Uganda Law Reform Commission takes charge of the process. It's a constitutional body. It is capable of doing that job. All that will be required is to beef it up with some additional members. I also wish to report, Madam Speaker, that 80% of constitutional amendment proposals are already on There's our desk. Order. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker, for allowing the order. I'm wondering whether the Minister is in order to tell half the truth to Parliament He's talking about the Law Reform Commission, yet it is listed for rationalization. And uh, they brought the bill here. If we had accepted it, it would be already merged. So what would happen in such a situation? Honorable so, Honor, Minister, just for information, the, the ULC is one of the institutions to be merged. So what... What, what the Honorable is talking about is, assuming we had accepted the merger, how, what would have happened? Ma Madam Speaker and Honorable Members, your question was about constitutional review. I do believe that Functions don't die with institutions. They would simply be transferred should Parliament so wish. Transferred where? 
procedure? There is a procedure matter. Right, Honourable uh, right, no Speaker, thank you very much. Honourable Members, I want to draw your attention to Article 127 that uh, the Minister of Justice decides to avoid. It reads like this Participation of the people in the administration of justice. Parliament shall make laws providing for participation of the people in administration of justice by courts. How do we appoint judges? Using this provision, if there was an enabling law, we would call for public hearing to avoid those judges who are very corrupt because this law is not in place. Can the Minister of Justice tell us when this law will be in place to help the Ugandans act in the fulfillment of Article 27 of, 127 of the Constitution? I thank you. Now you've gone diversionary. <laughs> that will be done and it shall be done. Let's, we are talking about the Constitutional Review Commission. Ma Madam Speaker, as a footnote, let me assure the Honorable Member that there are ways of involving... And, and just before you go, I don't want a perception that Parliament is saying that the judges are corrupt. That is a perceived perception. I, I, you cannot justify corruption of judges and should not come from this house. If you have evidence to that effect that the judges are corrupt, please come and lay on table. Come and lay on table. Kindly withdraw the statement of corrupt judges. That Sa can be handled at committee when you're handling the bill. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. I take your advice, and I don't use that all judges, but some people in the judicial service uh -huh. could be corrupt. I withdraw where it offends them. I thank you. Them. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, Honorable Minister of Constitutional Affairs, we want to help you. We want to help you. We have a number of constitutional amendments. You need to advise us whether we are going to have a constitutional review commission or not. And if we are not going to do it, then you should bring those amendments and move them. But you said you're going to have a constitutional review commission. And that's all we need from you. Madam Speaker, it has been the government's position that the constitution will require major amendments. And at the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, we already have most of the proposed amendments. The cabinet paper is ready, and in due course, after cabinet approval, we shall be here. We maintain our position that Parliament should bear with us. We'll be back with a rack of constitutional amendments. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Uh, next item.